Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today we are talking about the Joytudis SUV air mattress. It all comes in this small compact carry bag. It comes with your air pump, air pump attachments. Power cord, 12 volt power cord for the air pump. And of course, the mattress itself. It also has some patches and glue in case you puncture a hole in the air mattress while you're out using it. Always a good time to have. We have a video of the Joy Tudis air mattress in the Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Today we are going to use it in the Jeep uh, Cherokee Trailhawk and we'll also show placement in the Jeep Compass Trailhawk. And in that video that we already have on our channel, we also show the Joy Tudis SUV tent and some other car camping gear. So I will put the link to that video in the description. So be sure to check that out. What I'm going to do today is roll this out air it up and give you all some measurement. Hey, Tim. As you can see, this also comes with two pillows. On this end is your air valve. I'm going to use the Victor power unit to air it up. So we plug our 12 volt power cord into the air pump. We're going to turn our Victor power station on. Plug our power in. This has a valve, a one-way valve in it, so when you pull your air pump out, it keeps the air in the mattress. So we're going to seal this off, poke it in there, alright. Now, as you can see, the mattress is T-shaped, and this is going to go up toward the front seats of your vehicle when you put it in. So let's get some quick measurements. Okay. 
overall length on this particular mattress is going to be right at six foot. Now on this wider part that goes up on your uh, back seat back, it's going to be 54 inches. On the skinnier section, it looks like we're going to be 40 inches. Thickness on this It looks to me like seven and a half inches where I have it up. And I like it pretty, pretty firm. We have used this already and it works great. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna open the hatch to the Jeep. We're gonna slide it in and let y'all see what it looks like inside the back of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I already have our front seats, or our back seat folded down. I pushed our front seats up just a little bit and we're going to show you what that looks like. Now most times I will put this in the back of the vehicle before it's aired up. I'll position it and then I'll air it up. This will be the first time I've actually put it in the Jeep already aired up. Let's see if it can be done. Okay, as you can see, it can be done, but it's easier. Unroll it into the vehicle, then air it up. Now I've got a jack over here in this pocket and I'm going to recline my seats forward just a little bit more. Okay so I recline my seats forward a little more and now it's in there all the way to where I can shut the gate. So it looks like from the back you can see it fits perfect in between my wheel wheels on each side perfect fit you have room on each side if you wanted to put a bag with stuff you needed to reach or if you read a book at night or whatever you could set it in between the mattress and the vehicle now let's go open the door. As you can see, it hangs over to see the headrest, the, end, the back of the seat ends here. But this is thick enough that even though there's nothing holding this up, you can put your pill up there and you can have support for your head. It's not going to dip down. Even without my uh, mat here that's hooked up. You don't have to have that uh, but yes it it supports perfectly and here's your little area if you wanted to store some stuff for night you have room to get to that you can put bags up underneath the mattress in between the front seat and the rear seat and it's the same on the other side you have enough height that you can have plenty of room to move around. Okay, so just how much height do you have in between the mattress and the roof? This is the skinniest section right here at the back. Let's go all the way to the hump. And you have 
20 and a half inches from here to there. But when you get to the front in the Cheek Cherokee, the roof is goes up. So up here, you're looking at, at uh, well, you have 21 inches here too. You have uh, 23 inches there in the center. And 23 and a half there. So it's plenty you can get in here and you can roll over and move around, build your pillows up to so you can kind of sit up and read a book. Uh, quite comfortable. I'll go ahead and climb up in there and try to keep my shoes off of the the mattress. On my Cherokee, I'm pretty high off the ground here. And I'll just use my hitch to get up in there. So you could sit here on the end of it. Ah. Or you can just climb on up in here and lay down. I'm not going to go all the way up because my feet are dirty, but as you can see, there's plenty of support and there's room for two people. It'd be tight in the Cherokee, but there's room for two people. You stay keep each, and you keep each other warm. How about that? So this is what it looks like in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Now, okay, now you want to take this mattress out so you're ready to go somewhere else. You're going to pull your valve out. And then pull the black plug out. You can hear the air coming out. Now, if you just moving somewhere and you're going to use this again and you don't have to use the space that's in here you can just let this out a little bit fold the back back just a little bit load your gear pull your seats back and when you get to your next site just flip that back over after you unload your gear and pull your seats forward and air it back up. So uh, you don't have to take it out and fold it up every time if you don't want to. But if you want to get it nice and all the air out, your pump that they give you you're ready to fold it up and move on I also need to show you the pillows a lot smaller than your household pillow Have your air valve. Again, you're going to use your pump. You're going to swap this to the way there's it up. Use your skinnier one here. have a pillow. You can air it up as hard or soft as you want. And I said there are two of those included. So it's a complete air pump, bed, mattress, and pillow kit. 
be sure to go check out the links in the description and pick you up a Jortudis SUV air mattress. But stay tuned because we're going to put this in the Jeep Compass Trailhawk and show you how it fits in that vehicle also. Close up nice and simple. The bag is plenty big to get that in there. Keep your air pump right in there with it. And don't forget your ends. Pull your strings tight. You're looking at a nice compact bag. Doesn't take up a lot of space in your vehicle. You're ready to go camp. You have to lean the seats forward pretty much slide the seats forward lean them forward but you can shut the tailgate with the mattress in there we get a nice snug fit in between the wheel wheels there's also a place you could put stuff through the night like a book or a bottle of water or whatever right in there of course you got your pillows that would go up there but it fits in here really well <laughs> 